Okay, everybody. Good afternoon to you. I promised a video, and I'm going to give you a tour. Back up. So here is my mini Winnie with my two chairs and my table for sitting at night. What I have here <laughs> is my house wire. The place that I'm staying at doesn't have enough amps in order to support my whole vehicle and their house. So, I put on a choice few things. Let's walk around. And of course, you know it's a 1995. And what I'll be doing today, later on, is finally changing the generator oil. Here is my hose. Of course, this is um, the pressure regulator right there. And then I've got an elbow going to the water hose. And I have 75 foot of hose going to a faucet. I don't drink out of this water. I just... Well, actually, I don't do anything. I'll explain about that someday soon. This, of course, is the outdoor shower. <coughs> and then we have the generators. My problem with the generator has been, it's been running for about 45 minutes and then it'll just shut off. Now I talked to somebody at Camping World and he said, well, the fuel pump may be going out. I read a few articles, been Googling, and a lot of it could be due to the oil. And if you look at the oil, it's black. It's a mess. So, there's an oil pressure sensor in there that might be going bad. Or I just need a plain old oil change so the oil holds up and the pressure holds better. Now, I'm sure you'll correct me on that, but that's okay. So today, later on, I am going to change the oil. I will film that. All right? Now, another problem I've been having here, besides the squirrels trying to jump on me, um, is getting in and out. Now, <coughs> if you can see, the driveway is a little steep, and that's supposed to be a hitch. And I hit that hitch into the dirt. So the next time I go out to empty my black tank, I'll have to watch out for that. So what I have been busy doing is caulking the edges. Caulking around the windows. And this was here when I when I got it. It was a ding, but of course this is the garage, excuse the mess, but all my tools and stuff are in there. <coughs> and I think what I'll be is on the lookout for a door that I can replace that with. Alright, so there we are. Oh, and a new addition to my sticker, Camper Van Kevin sticker, and there is his other one. Those are the only stickers I've gotten so far. Oh, and you saw Clyde. Hi, Clyde. Hey. <laughs> anyway, so this is a setup I have going in the door. I bought this at Walmart for, oh, nine dollars. It's a shoe caddy. But in the shoe caddy, of course, I have shoes. Let me come up here. 
and umbrellas and Clyde's leash, my screwdriver that I always seem to need, furniture polish, no stinkum for the feet stuff, and scissors and bungee cords and glasses, so this is coming very, very handy. This is a curtain that I put up because it has gotten cold here. And if I shut... Come on, Clyde. No? Okay. So if I shut the door, there's a lot of air gaps. I haven't put all the new gaskets around the door yet. And especially right here, light comes through. So, I stick this down here when the door is closed, and I stick a pillow down there so that if it's windy, it doesn't move, and it keeps all the cold air, basically, there. Okay. Now this door is trying to close because I didn't lock it. Now, again, like I said, it's been cold, so uh, I've been not running my, my box fan. But it's still there, so whenever it gets warm again next week, I can turn it on and let the air come in. I put a cover over my couch, which I'm sure you can barely see. The lighting in here isn't that great. Hang on, let me turn my light on. Yeah, that may be a little better. I put a black quilt over my uh, jackknife sofa. And as my grandson would say, there is my theater. <laughs> right now I just put my TV on top of that bed there. It's too big to be running on 12 volt, but right now I'm plugged into shore power a little bit so I can run the TV. And then of course there's my computer which, when I go on the road, will be downgraded to a laptop and all my miscellaneous notes and remotes and stuff like that. So what I also did in here was I went and bought carpet remnants, and instead of blue carpeting, I put just car piece carpet remnants together. So, I wouldn't have that other carpeting. Now, I didn't pull that up because of insulation properties. Now, I'll have to go this way. Here is my coffee pot. Oh, I love my coffee pot. And an alcoholic beverage that somebody gave me. <laughs> and, of course, my knife hangers, which are hanging up right now. And the rest of the backsplash that I put on. Now, my predicament here is I can't run my microwave unless the generator's on. Because I can't plug into my 30 amp into her house because it would cause too much havoc. So, I don't have a microwave. And my gas isn't working in here yet. And my refrigerator, when I do hook up the gas, I'm afraid to turn it on, and I'll show you that in another video. This back here, which is kind of dark, let me see if, well, I'll have to show you this, is my bedroom, which I don't ever think I'm going to make the bed again, because it's only one-sided, and it's a pain in the butt barely see it. Let's see. There we go. That's a little better. My little other traveling companion. There we go. <coughs> so, what I did was <laughs> it rained one night, but I knew it was going to rain, but I left that dang thing open, thinking I'd hear the thunder, 
and down the rain came and got me all, got me all wet. <laughs> oh, so lesson learned. Never go to sleep with that open unless you know for a fact it's not going to rain. So while I was changing all my bulbs out, and I don't know if you can see this. No, I'll have to do that on a video with the light. But I was changing my bulbs out to LED bulbs. And one of them changes and the other one doesn't. Well, somebody let something leak somewhere and that is all corroded. And then you go into my messy bathroom. And that up there, and that there, that light, is also corroded. So I couldn't change the light bulb. So that means I need two new light bulbs. I mean, uh, light bars to put in here. Cheap enough on, on Amazon. So I use the um, LED lights and an LED lantern in order to see what in heaven's name I'm doing. So that'll be another video coming, how to replace that. Oops. And one more thing before I close this out. I don't know if you can see the squirrels in the tree, but I put in a all of an extended stay on my tank because they won't refill my tank uh, because they said it's not inspected. Now, it's not a DOT tank, so I don't know what they're talking about. So I just put an extended stay. Oh, oh. Also, here's my buddy heater. I got it taped to the counter. It'll, it won't stay there when I move. And then I got a long hose to my propane tank that I put under the table. I tried doing one night without the heater, and it was 40 degrees outside, and I froze. So now um, I block that area so Clyde doesn't get in it. And mess with the hose and um, there we have it I leave it run all night long turned it off last night because it wasn't as cold as it was supposed to be and there's my drinking water I don't drink out of the faucet and that's a tiny little dark tour of my RV. The next one will be of me changing the oil on the generator. <laughs> so y'all have a blessed day and um, stay happy. Oh look at look at my little octopus of wires. They're not all connected to anything. Just the computer and the light right now, but mm mm mm. That's a mess. So I'm going to let you go until the next video. I only get 15 minutes and this is almost up. So, have a blessed day.